Hi, my name is Gareth Lewis, and today I'm here to show you examples of the proposal ID paste wiki function. This is a unique tool that ensures the content you bring into your proposal will be pasted in using your branding and styles rather than the styles of the co content source. To start with, we have our proposal open and all of our styles have been set up. We have the mandatory word styles as well as the set of proposal ID styles such as headings, lists, tables, etc. First, we'll use content from a wiki page. Here we've set up our, we've set up the description of one of our demonstration company's products. As you can see, we have normal text, different heading levels, bullet text, bold and italics, a citation reference, images, a highlight box, additional heading levels, we have multi-level lists, and we have a table that contains text and again, different types of lists. So we'll now select and copy onto the Windows clipboard all of our product description. Then we'll return to our proposal. When we paste in the content, it gives us the option to select the paste wiki function. Our content included a table. So first we're asked which of the stored table styles to use. For now, we'll just select the default table style. And all of our product content is pasted in perfectly pasted using our branded branding and styles. And you can see the normal text, the headings, the images, the highlight box, more headings, multi-level lists, and our table containing our text and, and lists. And if we look at our styles, we'll see that they remain unchanged. Now the paste wiki function performed a lot of actions to get the content looking correct. If we decided that we didn't want this content and reverse the paste wiki, that would be a lot of control Z's to undo it all. So instead, we've developed an undo paste wiki function to return to the position before we pasted it in the content. Next, we'll pick up our demonstration company's profile from their internet site. Again, we have some text formatted for the internet with headings, centered, italicized text, and bullet lists. We'll select and copy onto the clipboard all of the required content and then return to our proposal. Again, we'll use the paste wiki function. And all of our content is pasted in using our proposal styles rather than the styles of the source location. So what about a customer's RFP document? Here we have an actual RFP modified for our demonstration. And this document, like all other Word documents, has its own styles which are totally different from the styles we have in our proposal. Normally this would present a problem as Word would in general import the styles with the content, but with the paste wiki function, this won't present any problems. So let's scroll down to the content our customer wants us to fill out. Then we'll copy and paste wiki all of this, this information into our proposal. This 
This time we'll select a stripe row table to give it a slightly different but still on brand look. And again, a, a list of styles. As you can see in a minute, remains clean and uncorrupted by the pasted content. And we'll just add a new page here before we add the last example, which will be a pricing sheet supplied to us from our pricing team. Unfortunately, fortunately, they haven't had the time to format it to our brand. So we'll just copy the cells. And again, We just use PasteWiki to paste the content into our proposal. This time our table has a column heading as well as a single row heading. And the result is we have a perfectly formatted table with all our pricing all correctly styled. And once again, our proposal styles, internal styles, our branding, our styles remain un unchanged. Thank you for listening.